Hello again, Cyclones fans. Everett Fitzhugh back here for Cyclones TV. Cincinnati wrapping up morning skate ahead of tonight's contest with the Quad City Mallards. The Cyclones picked up a big statement win on Wednesday, snapping that four-game losing streak. Head coach Matt McDonald breaks it down for us. Yeah, no, I thought we played uh, pretty good. I think the first 10 minutes were a little slow. I, uh, I think the guys are kind of feeling out the game a bit, which, you know, is not the ideal situation. But uh, we got a big goal there by um, uh, Winston Day Chief, and then uh, we were able to start capitalizing some of our chances. Uh, I thought as the last 50 minutes went, especially the last 40, we started playing our game a lot more effectively, and we were finding ways to create uh, off of turnovers and, and uh, control them in the neutral zone and in our D zone for the most part. Um, I know we gave up a lot of shots, but I felt like a lot more perimeter. We did give up some great A's, but uh, J.J. stood strong for us when we needed him to. And uh, obviously the guys that got the opportunities capitalized when uh, when they got those chances. So, uh, you know, top to bottom, it was a good game. I think we can still build off that and be better. I don't think that was a full 60 for us yet. But uh, definitely, uh, it's definitely good to get that monkey off the back, as you said. Anytime uh, you go through a couple games of losses, it feels like it's never going to end. And to get that off, especially against uh, Fort Wayne, is, is a top team in this league every year and a top team in our division, um, is always a tough game game uh, you know that's great for us but we gotta you know it's over with now we got to be better than we were that game for these next two uh, I don't think that was still not our best game by any means especially not a full 60 minutes so we got to be a lot better tonight secondary scoring has been a huge key to the cyclone success this season and in that big win on Wednesday the line of Winston Day Chief Daniel Muzito Baganda and Brandon McNally contributed for four points on the night yeah, no, they played great, and uh, all three of them were very similar. They're just really smart, uh, smart hockey players, and they play the game the right way. They're very honest in how they play. They're very structured, and uh, when they work together, they seem to be able to create because of those. Uh uh, because because of those situations where they can shut down teams and they can uh, and they can capitalize off of uh, their mistakes, and uh, you know all three of them are big bodies, they skate uh, very well, they have good hands, and, and they're physical. So it's uh, it was a great line, a like, great time to see them uh, going as a line, and uh, we're expecting that the same out of them for, uh, from here on out. The trend of getting players back will continue tonight as goaltender Anthony Peters is set to return between the pipes. Yeah, I mean, it was a good experience. Uh, you know, obviously things are done at a little faster pace there. And, um, you know, coming back here uh, just gives me things, uh, reinforces things that I need to work on and hopefully get another shot. You, you want to play as much as you can. And, uh, you know, we got, we got three goalies here. Everyone's got three good goalies too. So, um, you know, whenever you get a chance down here to play, you try to make the most of it. And, and when you're not in, you're coming to the rink and you're trying to get better each day. Yeah, I know uh, FCP was doing great for us uh, before he got the recall, which he was definitely deserved. Um, you know, he'll, he'll come back. He'll do a great job. We know he's ready. He's a professional through and through. And uh, we're, we're fortunate we got all three goalies that can play at any night and, and do a great job for us. So uh, we're we're happy that way. And uh, it's great to see uh, Petey get back in there. Oh, they're a very hardworking team. They're big. They're physical. They, uh, they have offense. They've been changing their lineup a bit, bringing some guys back from overseas, some guys off of injuries. Um, you know, CJ Mott's back there, who's a top end uh, goalie in this league. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. They're a physical team. They're a hardworking team. Um, we have to be ready to put on the uh, work hat tonight because it's not going to be a free-flowing game by any means. Uh, the big thing is just going to be playing our systems uh, from top to bottom and, and everybody. You know, that's something we've talked about the last couple of days and we can't be four guys on one page and one guy off on his own. we got to make sure that we have uh, all six guys every time on the ice playing to what we want them to do and what they, what our guys know they can do. And if we play the right way and we play honest hockey, we'll be fine. we just got to manage pucks, be physical, and make sure we shut them down uh, in the D zone and, and help OPD as much as possible. We know that they're there to make those big saves when they have to, but if we can limit those uh, great eight chances against, we'll give ourselves an opportunity to win.